how I feel about tomorrow. Why not? <laughs> so disconnected from this cycle. Disconnected how? I don't know. I just feel like I'm so over it. I also have like this looming feeling that it's not gonna go right this cycle. I think I'm just in like a bad mood. This last cycle was so hard. It was so hard. It was like the hardest cycle I think you and I have been through. Yeah, I think how it ended was very tough. I think to protect my heart, I've just become a little bit more disconnected. But are you not optimistic about even getting through the ovulation stage? Yeah, I'm wondering if like Lux is gonna happen. And the medicine, I can't, I can't with this. I literally cannot. Are you saying it's not normal to have to be on calls for hours every day talking to a pharmacy, a doctor, and insurance? That's not how it's supposed to go? It's actually ridiculous. Like, it's, it's like getting me fired up right now. Because we don't have it. We don't have it. And I go in tomorrow for my first follicle scan, and we don't have the medication in hand. And the last time this happened, she was like, oh, we got to take it today. And as of right now, my, my insurance has denied it like four times which doesn't make any sense because we've gotten it before. It's been approved before, yeah. Right, and now they're telling me they want us to do like this, try this other medication before we go to Nupagen. The insurance does? Yeah, they want us to do Zaroxio or something before Nupagen. What did your doctor say about that? She was like, I called it in, you know, it seems to have the exact same effects, so called it in and you can try it. Is it just an off brand of I Nupagen? I think it is. Okay, so then it's... It's okay. like the off brand of Nupagen. And now we don't even know if insurance is going to accept that one. But I thought insurance recommended that they one. They did, but we still have to run it. We still haven't got it accepted. This is like That's a insane. circle of nonsense. So I called them today and they were like, you'll know tomorrow. And then it will take a day to ship out. So you most likely won't get it for like two, two to three days. I'm like, well, let's hope like I can take it in two to three days. It's like this inner battle of me for four years, trying not to fight for answer, advocate for myself, do everything I can. And now I'm just at a point where like, I can't do this anymore. And it also feels like wrong to quit. But also like, I just. Well, I don't think you quit. I mean, I've heard you on calls over and over. I know. You're just feeling worn out now because you just gone through the battle I feel like you do a pretty good job of rebounding and recharging but you know right in the moment or like a couple days after all these tough things are when it's hitting you hardest when it takes you like a week two weeks and then you bounce back it's gonna suck if lups happens it'll be interesting to see if my body ovulates without the medicine if we don't have it because this is month four of PRP and they say three months is generally like the best time frame here so I just feel like I'm losing, losing steam. It's okay. You don't have to have steam. Your body's gonna do what it's gonna do. It's not I like you can will it. If loves happens, then we'll be doing another round of PRP. Don't say why not. I think we've decided we'll do one more round of PRP. Try and give my body a full six months. Or I guess it'd be seven months of like, having the PRP in my system. Yeah, I mean, boosting numbers and things of that nature. I feel like we talked to a different PRP place at one point that always does two cycles of it. Like that's mm -hmm. what they recommend. So I'm always down to try and PRP. I know last time was a lot of pain because of the extra. Well, they cut my septum. Yeah, cutting the septum. Time, we won't have to be doing this. In terms of the procedure, it is a very low cost on the body, right? It's draw blood, spin blood, inject the white plate blood cells into the area and that's it yeah the thing with prp is you have to do it during like a certain part of your cycle but if i'm telling myself like if lups happens we'll have more time to do it <laughs> because then i will know i wouldn't ovulate and we can do it in that time frame but i'm just yeah silver lining i don't even want to go to monitoring tomorrow Ugh, it feels like i'm just tired i don't even want to know the news because i haven't been cramping at all no cramps. Haven't had any cramps. Not one. And cramps are good? It means like stimulation is happening down there. Mm. Or that's what we saw the last three months with PRP and now. Ugh. One day at a time, pooks. One day at a time. I guess we'll see what happens.